everybody, Hungry Hussy here. Today, I'm gonna to bring you some shrimp tacos. Fajita seasoned shrimp tacos. <whistles> Boy, it's gonna be some good groceries. So what I'm gonna do, I got a lot of good things going on with these shrimp tacos. Let's get into it. So I got some medium shrimp. I uh, can't remember the, the, I think it's like 22, 30 count per pound, uh, something like that. I got some cilantro, I got some lettuce, I got some tomatoes, I got some pico. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use yet. I made some pickled red onions. I got some queso fresco and I got some avocado crema right here. It's gonna be good. And that's my shell mix over there. We're gonna make our, our shells tonight. Uh, I've done them before. Again, I will have ingredients down below in the description. So please check everything out. It'll be the ingredients for this, this, and for, I got a seasoning mix somewhere. I got a, my seasoning mix for my, for my shrimp coming too. All right? So first things first, we're gonna get our shells going. We need to see, yeah, our griddle, I had, it, I had this thing on, I had it full of blast, I actually cut it off. So what we're gonna do is, our, grid, our griddle is more than hot, okay? So right now, all my burners are off. I'm gonna cut them back on in a minute, I mean, again, you have to listen to your griddle. You have to, you know, know your temperatures. And if you have to, you know, turn them off, cycle the thing. So this is a, this is kind of an art right here. And I don't get them exactly circular, but I do try. It's kind of the fun thing about it is not, there's not one that's, that's uh, the same size, okay? So what I like to do is, I like to kind of go with batches with these. Just kind of work, uh, just kind of work around there. There's something about this, these shells. It just, it's just good. I don't know what it does, but it really does set off your taco. All right, let's see where these are at. Got a little bit of brown to them. That's what you want. Perfect. And we got the last little bit right here. And then we're gonna get going on our shrimps. There we go. All done with that. Time to get these off. Beautiful, those are beautiful right there. All righty. Let me take these inside, uh, put them in the microwave for warmth, and I'll be right back. All right, we got the shells all done. Now it's time for the shrimp. Are you ready for the shrimp, Maggie girl? I wanna get this middle right here. I wanna get it really hot. Okay, I mean really, really, really hot. Now, the shrimp, where'd my seasoning go? Here it is. This is a little bit of just the seasoning that I kinda concocted. It's got salt, it's got pepper, it's got uh, chili powder, it's got coriander. It's got cumin in it, uh, and that's about it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dust the shrimp, just like this. We are ready. We got about 425 degrees right there in the middle. We're ready to go. Even them out. Smell that seasoning right now. It's, it's very pungent. Gosh, smells good. Boy, look at that. Forgot to add that. Now, I wanted to make sure the shrimp was kind of dry. I didn't want a lot of moisture on it because the moisture will help, it'll kind of steam things. You will not get a good crust on it. So that's just a, you know, just a little tip for me to you, okay? All right. I say these shrimp, these shrimp are done. The, at the last minute, we're gonna take some of this lemon juice. Lemon, shrimp, fish, just goes together. And then plus it wakens up a lot of that chili powder, a lot of those other spices we got in that fajita mix. Beautiful. 
Look at that. All right. Now, I'm just gonna put this shrimp over here. Just like that. So one thing I like to do, especially with tacos, I like to make my tacos on the Blackstone. So I got a few of my shells here. Okay, two and three. And now we're just gonna take some of these shrimp. I'm going to go with some of this pico. Cause I love pico. Okay, a little bit of pico in each one of these. Just like that, just like that. Beautiful pico. Now, I do know, now there's, there's red onions in this, but then I also like, I also like pickled red onions. Beautiful. Just like that right there. Now, some of this queso fresco. It's right here. Just like that. Some of this avocado crema. Homemade. We don't, we don't, we don't slouch. And then we're just gonna finish it off with a little bit of cilantro. Right there, boom. Shrimp tacos are done, y'all. You're welcome, appreciate it. We'll see you. Was it good? Good. I'll, I'll put you on. I'll put you on the video. Well, I'm glad y'all liked it. You're welcome, buddy. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all just heard a testimony from my neighbors. I actually uh, took them over some. Uh, took took them over some some stuff. They liked it. Let's try this shrimp right here. Oh man. A season on that shrimp. It's got a smokiness to it from the chili powder. I taste um, I taste some garlic and then I taste the pickled red onion. God. It's really hot. Mm. Man. This avocado crema. I think it's the bee's knees, y'all. I like to describe what I what I taste. But there is so much flavor in there from the pickled red onions and that pico. Gosh, it's beautiful, beautiful. Well, y'all, hey, this was quick, simple. Uh, I wanted to bring this to you. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, give it a try at home. See what you think. Well, y'all, I'm going to get in here. Family's ready for me. They want to eat. I love you. I appreciate you. And until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. Bye, y'all.